Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to show you how I make my homemade seasoning salt. You'll never have to buy it again. And I'm going to make it with ingredients that you probably already have at home. Very easy to put together. And today I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. Let's get started. So this is what you're going to need to make your homemade seasoning salt. A funnel, a little mason jar with a lid or any jar that you want to use, some labels, a whisk, and the ingredients. Now in this bowl, I have three tablespoons of regular table salt. This is the star of the show. We start out with the salt. And I have two teaspoons of freshly ground black pepper. And add it right there. I have one teaspoon of paprika. And that's my homemade paprika. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One and a half teaspoons of onion powder. 3 fourths teaspoon of regular granulated sugar, 2 teaspoons of ground mustard, 1 fourth teaspoon of celery seed, and I have 1 eighth teaspoon of cornstarch. And this will prevent any lumps from forming. And I have 1 fourth teaspoon of ground red pepper. You can also use cayenne pepper if you'd rather do that. See? Now I'm going to mix it all up together with my whisk. Now you can substitute any of these ingredients with some of your favorite ones. Actually, what you want to do is use your favorite seasonings, you know. These are some of the ones that I use the most. That's why these are the ones that I'm using. But you can add the ones you like or take away the ones you don't like. And here we are. Look at this. This is my homemade seasoning salt right here. Now I'm going to put my seasoning salt into my jar. There's my jar. Here's my funnel. Now I'm just going to pass it through. I'm going to put the lid. I like to put a label on it and it says seasoning salt. And you want to write down the date when you made it. It's usually good for about six months. You want to put your label. Now you want to keep the lid on nice and tight. Put it in your kitchen cupboard where it's a little dark and cool. And it'll always be fresh and ready to use. So this is my homemade seasoning salt. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you.